took a trip to see our blocks to check out the earthen home that Ryan built a few years ago again. Ryan built this house in just a few months for the DIY network in early what? 2019. And the feel inside is unlike traditional homes. It's very still and has a monolithic feel, very similar to what you might feel in an old cathedral. It's always a treat to see so many butterflies in the fall, especially the monarchs. I had a butterfly garden in our old house and loved that I didn't have to do anything to invite them here. So today is somewhat of a big day. The concrete is finally coming out after you don't even want to know what delay it has been. Um, gosh, it has just been really frustrating. Every single time we have had this concrete truck scheduled, something has come up, usually raining. Like I'd say four out of the five times we've had to reschedule, it was because of rain. Um, they can't come out on gravel roads in the rain and also the rain just kind of makes it really muddy around here and they can't get up here on this uh, clay in the mud, not on their giant truck. Um, not only that, we've also been sick. Uh, our son brought some nasty bug home from school and he was sick for a full week, then our daughter got sick, then mom got sick, and then dad got sick. And so just for a solid two weeks, we have just not been very functional. It's been frustrating to say the least. Um, we're trying to do what we can while we felt under the weather. And you know, if you, if you kind of hear, I'm still not completely better. James is also still raspy as well. Um, but anyway, here we are, and the funny thing is, this, this is just like, this is just the way things go. 
they were they called and said they'd be here at one it is almost two and they're still not here so you know it's kind of like uh is this really even gonna happen today um because i pff, we'll see at this point um but we we really hope uh that that they'll be here soon um and then we can just move forward with some stuff we went ahead and bought a bunch of our supplies for mounting our solar panels. So no matter what, we'll get to work on that this week because the grade beam needs to cure for a few days before we can take off the forms and do anything else to it. Um, so hopefully we'll get started on that. This is just like, well, <laughs> what's gonna happen to us today? Um, because we just be really, we just don't know what's happening anymore. We feel so out of control. But fingers crossed that things go well today so that we can finally get this dumb great beam poured and done so that we can start putting bricks up because my timeline was to have bricks done by the end of November. Unless something magical happens, uh, it's not gonna happen by the end of November, which really pushes us out. So, we'll see what happens. has been poured, we'll be able to start gearing up for laying bricks and building the solar mount. We'll have to remove the formwork prior to laying brick, which will be a bit of work, but we'll get there when we get there and enjoy the cooler weather in the meantime. However, judging by how everything else has been going, I think it's safe to say we'll see many more delays. Mm -hmm. 